And so I just want to talk for a moment about the continuous line thing because I think a lot of people don't quite understand it, and not that I have a handle on it either, except that when by practicing the continuous line, it helps me push through my fears so that I am a stronger artist in everything, in all the arenas that I like to participate in, right? I'm not just a continuous line artist, and I'm pretty certain that those of you that are doing continuous line are, are not waking up in the morning going, I am going to be the best continuous line artist in the world, right? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a supplement. It's not like the mistake, right? And it's a supplement that can really help you um, be a stronger I almost said artist, but I'm just going to say a stronger line maker, right? Um, <laughs> up there in San Diego, somebody said to me, well, you know, what's wrong with picking up the pen and starting a new line? And I totally get it, but, and I do, I pick up the pen and jump to another line, but by telling yourself you're just going to do a continuous line, you don't have the pause. And sometimes that pause can be fear, right? And the fear goes, oh, I don't know where to go, so I'm going to stop, or I'm just going to half-ass it, or, you know, something. There's a pause, right? So this, the whole continuous line thing is about pushing through the pauses, pushing through the fear, right? That's literally how I'm using this. When I was up there in San Diego, I had my first cup of coffee on the morning, and across the street was a liquor store. You know, I don't have a real <laughs> desire to draw a liquor store, but it's what was in front of me, and there was a scooter there. And so I got my um, $6 million latte, <laughs> put my pen down, and I started with the wheel, right? Started with the wheel and drew the scooter, went up to the sides, did the building. Oh, went a little high here and then jumped back down and built the building. Whoosh, whoosh. Put my coffee in and then put everything behind it, right? It, this is not like something like, would you like to buy this painting? <laughs> no, this was to help me get my feet on the ground. I had just been arrived in America for the first time in since whatever, our past lives, right? So I didn't know what to expect. I mean, according to the news, everyone's trying to kill each other, right? So I was like, I just needed to breathe, just put my feet on the ground, have a cup of coffee, get take a look at my surroundings. And, you know, these little scooter things are all over California. I'm all over the streets. People, like, ride them and then chuck them, right? So the, the scooter is, you know, so th this is a continuous line urban sketch and it's not like going to go in my portfolio of like one of the more beautiful sketches but in my mind this drawing helped me put my feet on the ground and be like okay I'm okay I'm okay here and um, another one I did, I did some continuous line urban sketching right so here's another one ice cream parlor Oh, crazy building. They have a big ice cream cone here. All kinds of fun murals and signs, pizza, hot dogs, blah, blah, blah. Where did I start with this? I think I started, I don't remember now. I started right here. And by this point, I had been there a few days, and I was like, yeah, this is fun. It's fun. And so someone says, well, what? I don't get it. What's the point? I'm like, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good, it makes me feel better, it makes me feel accomplished. It's not the greatest drawing in the world, but I drew a complicated building in one stroke. I think I finished somewhere, uh, maybe on the sign, or the tree was the last thing. And when I was done, then I went in and I put some text, right? Because there's like pizza and, you know, sometimes the text can throw me, right? So it's not like you have to keep your pen down. It's more like something that, it's a feeling of accomplishment. It's a feeling of completing a drawing without abandoning it, right? And the more you do that, the more you don't abandon your drawings, the more you don't abandon your art, the more you don't abandon your intuition, the more you don't abandon your heart, 
the stronger of a connection you make to it, right? So, you know, not the greatest drawing in the world, not the most beautiful thing, but to me, I'm like, uh, I was walking home, I'm like, I'm so proud of this. <laughs> because it's a complicated building, and I did it with one damn stroke. Uh. <laughs> um, so, again, I just want to, like, encourage you, like, don't worry, and a lot of women worry about not making a good drawing, right? Like, oh, what will they think of me? They. People will think I can't do this. I'm not a good artist because this one drawing is not correct. You know, this space, this continuous line storytelling, this is the space to like spread your wings and try to push that fear aside and make some lines, right? This is not the perfect drawing Facebook group, right? The perfect, the per for perfect artists, right? Because we're not perfect. None of us is perfect. The, we do the greatest drawing one day and then for a hundred days straight, they're crap, right? I mean, you just never know with art because it's part of us. It's part of our heart. It's part of our soul, right? So, 